good afternoon. I'm Marianne Pierce from MAP Digital, and I'm here in IMAX in the VEG, the Virtual Events Group booth, and we're interviewing some of the leading innovators in technology to really discover or really ask them what is the future of events? What did they experience during the pandemic lockdown, and where do they see the new growth and monetization in our events industry? And I'm really pleased to introduce you to my friend, <laughs> virtual friend. It's the first time we met in person, but we've been in touch with each other for a number of years. This is Panos Mufatis of Xenos. And, um, and in fact, I'm an investor in Xenos. Mm -hmm. I'm very, That's very right, proud. That's yes. <laughs> I love this technology so much, and I, I participated in a round. So anyway, so let's make them very, very wealthy, because I, I benefit, right? So, I would like for you to tell everyone, our virtual events um, group audience, what is Xenos mm -hmm. and how is it going to answer some of the pressing needs that the meeting organizations are coming to with you to you right now? At its core, by the way, first of all, thank you for, for the introduction and having me here. Very, very nice to meet you. <laughs> very, very nice to meet you. Uh, at, at its core, we are a data and AI company. and. I assume you have seen this already from you know when the pandemic happened and everything moved to virtual. Everybody, you know, it disrupted the industry, but one of the benefits or the silver linings was when the organizers, when the brands, the corporations, when everybody started realizing the importance and the value of tracking the experience of the attendees. And out of that, uh, right now we're going back to live. People understand more and more the impact and the value of data and how this is a tool you have to create a better experience for than this, to have more tailored content. And this is where we are filling this gap by empowering brands, corporates, organizers with the information about what then this like, what they don't like, and so forth. And we will go deeper into how we are doing this with AI and computer vision, but the core is understanding the behavior of the individuals to create better experiences, better messaging, and create efficiencies and more results. So tracking the attendees' behavior yes. as they move through the space Correct. of an event. Correct. So obviously the pandemic was cruel to you because we shut down. That's when you really worked on your platform and your analytics. But let's talk about the actual physicality of the product. Yes. Just walk us through, we probably should have brought over <laughs> the, the Xenos product. Walk through what it is, how it's installed, and what does it capture? Perfect. So, uh, let me start a little bit different and say, we started deploying computer vision solutions in events early on. We have been doing this since 2017. And one of the main challenges we came across, and everybody will empathize with that, is internet bandwidth. Internet, internet connectivity. Yeah, um, it, there's the very, very, <laughs> the, the, lack, uh, the lack of. And when we, we use a 4K camera, and you're trying to stream 4K video, streaming from one camera, 4K video, you need about 200 gigabytes of data per camera per day. Yeah, it's too high. It's too impossible, high. impossible to have this, impossible to have this on site. So what we realized was if we are able to take the compute power from the cloud to the actual physical space, then the bandwidth requirements goes away. You don't so care about basically it. Basically what you're installing is, is a device that Correct. has a camera Correct. and has an element that connects to the cloud where all the smart analytics happens. Correct. It's light, it can be deployed anywhere. In fact, you have them here at IMAX. Exactly. For the, for the hosted buyer to know who's coming, we'll get to what you're tracking. <laughs> yes. But what you're saying is, you've designed it because it is video based, that it's not bandwidth intensive. So not you're not at paying all. the bandwidth cost, and it's lighter as far uh, as- Exactly, so so first of all, first of all, it works offline as well. Oh, okay. Or if you have internet connection, it goes away, so it will keep a local backup. So it, it's, it's very, very robust because Everything goes wrong in events. Everything that can go wrong goes wrong in an event. I've only been doing this for 25 <laughs> years and bringing IT and it goes boom. Right, and, and that's why you need to have redundancies upon redundancies, plan B, C, D, E, and that's how we, ha we have yeah. built the service. Uh, but the, the other thing is the shipping cost. We, we shipped 20 devices in a small box. It, it's very light, easy to install. Anybody can plug in a USB camera. A USB camera, you just plug it in, you plug in the power and it works. So that's it. So you plug it over of the doorways, and what do you capture? You're capturing badges, 
scanning from, from RFID or tele... And then also, what else are you capturing about in the video of people? Yes, so actually at IMX yesterday, we launched for the first time the ability of uh, scanning badges from a long distance, 10, 15 feet. Right. Yeah, we, we, don't, we don't have we our badges, badges now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so we can scan the badges from a long distance automatically. And if you compare this with RFID, NFC, BLE, all of these technologies, it is very accurate, it is very easy to install, it is way cost efficient, very easy to deploy. It, it's a whole different level. It, it, it's it, oh, it, it's yeah. mind blowing. You can't have people scanning and touching. And you get people involved, then you have complications and you have added cost. That's for sure. Exactly. But yes. You also, when people walk through, you're scanning something. That's about, right. That's right. And what is that called? Facial. Well, we're doing facial analysis. So people, they are familiar with facial recognition of identifying individuals. But the way we have taken the technology, we gave it a more positive and ethical spin. We do not identify individuals. We are just saying, okay, we see a face, we don't see a face. This person is in this age group, they are in this biological sex, and then we can analyze sentiment. Right. So we can understand the experience of the people. And that's something we have been working on with the IMEX team here, here at IMEX in Las Vegas. And we understand you know, the host buyer's lounge versus the main center point. What are the differences? It must be very interesting as a host of buyer because you can see when the buyer or the goes out, what was their experience? Because all this is experiential. So you're getting two, two uh, functionalities in one, in one device. You're getting actually the scanning of badge, who came in, and obviously that session, whatever that session is about, that's metadata you have. And then you get the sentiment of the attendee. Now you could link it if you chose to. If you chose to, and you get the opt-ins, or you get the opt-ins yeah, ahead of the event, so when people register, yes. And you are doing tremendous business here. <laughs> yes, it's yes. Smooth. I had to drag him out. <laughs> I had to like bend people off to get this, this time. Uh, we we are very fortunate that people really embrace embrace uh, the, the functionality, and when you decouple it, the facial analysis, you don't need consent because it's completely anonymous. We don't store video, we don't transmit the video, we don't identify anyone, it's completely anonymous. If you want to link it, this is when you need to get the consent. But, you know, people, they start to understand that data is a tool that helps them do their job more effectively and more efficiently. Yeah, we were talking before, and this is the big epiphany that we found, is that when there was nothing else that people could measure the success of an event in our virtual days, but the data on what they watched, what they did, who they matched with, how they felt about it, and it impacted sales in a positive way, we're hearing that they cannot live without the data and they want more and more exactly. data that you can deliver, but also a really efficient way of gathering instead of having people shoot <laughs> and scan Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so. If it's not easy, people are not, are not going to use it. One in investor told me, Panos, everybody understands the value of facial analysis, computer vision, and AI. The company that will make it as easy as the light bulb that goes on when I open the fridge to get a snack at night, that's the company. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And we're also talking about integrating our platforms together because it's all, it has to be one long interconnected platform, data trail, together. But we've run out of time. <laughs> Thank you for having me. To <laughs> I do. <laughs> Thank yes. you so much for joining oh us. God, thank you for having me. I'll see you in London. <laughs> Sounds good. I will see you in London. Thank you, so thank you very much.